Lay businessman Pasigan Taru built a company that rents properties and operates a guest house. Taru is one of few Papua New Guineans who have ventured into the real estate business and succeeded. He explains that the business is a way of life and that the market needs to be mutually regulated to suit all stakeholders, especially customers. Because the price is just too much uh, for them to raise that equity to buy a property. Secondly, they are in competition. The market is open and they are in competition with the big players. Uh, what, are, what are the chances? Nothing. Therefore, I strongly believe that the government should now regulate that industry. His property, located at Lay's Boundary Road area, is amongst the most affordable in Lay's expensive housing rental market. Lay's real estate market is so expensive that finding homes with proper amenities is difficult. Uh, improve the facilities so it's good for the resident to live in. And uh, the toilet, the shower. But for the Taru's property, it's been a priority to maintain the highest possible standards and giving the best rates. The uh, government has to be you know, a, a well-planned and well-monitored uh, 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 intervention so that one stakeholder is not uh, too much negatively affected. Sovereign Real Estate Managing Director Padi Tonga shares similar views with Passing and Taru. Lay's housing rental has been at an all-time high in the last 12 months, but experts in the market see a shift soon. After the LNG project construction phase ended, they expect the prices to come down. But for the long term, the government needs to step in and help. Bethany Harriman, National MTV News, Lay.